a popular phrase within society. And that phrase is this, happy wife, happy life. Is there a level of selfishness in this saying or phrase or statement? Let's be honest. The meaning of selfish is lacking the consideration for others. What about the man's happiness? What about the husband? What about the fiance? Does his happiness not matter at all? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Travis and welcome to the IPH theory. Also, I am one half of the cultural discussions. Please like, follow and subscribe to both entertainment channels on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a video for you today. I just have my own lesson and I always have my own lesson. Sometimes they come in a reaction form and sometimes they just come from my mind and my heart. Today's lesson is regarding a popular phrase within society. And that phrase is this. Happy wife, happy life. Now, I am all about happiness. I do believe that if you are if you are married or in a relationship that <clears throat> your wife or your fiance or your girl friend should be very happy. But let's not forget about the other side of the relationship. <clears throat> Where are my notes? Happy wife, happy life. Is there a level of selfishness in this saying or phrase or statement? Let's be honest. The meaning of selfish is lacking the consideration for others. Being egocentric or self-centered, or self-absorbed, or thoughtless, or unaware whenever it comes to others. And I feel like happy wife, happy life breeds a level of narcissistic behavior. A narcissist is a person who has excessive interest or high admiration for themselves. And whenever you think about the happy wife, happy life, it's like, okay, does anybody in the household's happiness matter other than the wife? You know, um, happiness is for us all, you know, the husbands and the boyfriends and the fiancés, they should be happy as well. They put up with a lot. They work hard. Hopefully you have an honest, true and trustworthy husband, boyfriend or fiance. And I feel like the happy wife, happy life phrase is sabotaging and damaging and destroying marriages and relationships because there are many men who are suffering in silence just because they want a happy wife. And we should all want a happy wife. Her happiness matters. It truly does. But what about the man's happiness? What about the husband? What about the fiance? Does his happiness not matter at all? Happy, happy wife, happy life. Is that really true? You know, a lot of people don't care about us men and what we're going through. And whenever we have a popular phrase, called happy wife, happy life, it puts the man last. 
You know, why wouldn't the happiness or the peace of mind of the soul provider not matter? If I am paying all the bills, if I am making sure that everybody is protected and clothed and fed and sheltered, now that does bring a level of peace to the provider, which is, you know, providers are men and women, but from the a hierarchy perspective, you know, it's God, man, woman, and the kids, according to some of you guys. And I truly feel like many men are suffering in silence because they have been told happy wife, happy life. So a man does not matter. Is that true? Does it matter how he feels? Is it all about her happiness and her joy? What about his joy? And once again, he does get a level of joy and peace by providing for the family and for the family not wanting much or needing much. As a society, I feel like we need to include and consider everyone's happiness that's involved. You know, they have a, a, a popular phrase that's starting to pick up a little bit of steam. And I love it. It's called happy spouse, happy house. And if you notice, they said spouse, your spouse can be your husband or your wife. But happy spouse, happy house means that we are all happy. All of our joy and our tranquility and our peace is involved in happy spouse, happy house, the happy wife, happy life. It really breeds a level of selfishness and self-centered and not all women, because there are many women who are very caring and they care about everybody's emotions. But, you know, us men or we men, many of us are so selfless that our happiness will be put last and we don't have an issue with it. Let me see. What else do I have here? All I know is men and women and society in general, we need to do better. Once again, as a society, we need to include and consider everyone's happiness involved. And the happy wife, happy life phrase, it needs to die off. Happy spouse, happy house is the way that we need to go. And if the man is the sole provider, shouldn't his happiness be first? Because as the sole provider, if my happiness is first, that means that the entire household is thriving because when the sole provider is in a great mood, the whole house will be in a good mood. Because if I if I'm filled with joy, love and peace, I'm going to make sure my wife is and the kids are as well. Happy spouse, happy house. That is the way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Travis. Welcome to the IPH Theory. Whoever sees this video, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your patience. And I appreciate your engagement. Please like, follow, and subscribe to the IPH Theory. And once again, I am one half of the cultural discussions. Much love to you and your loved ones. Be safe. It is a crazy world out there. It is election season, so don't tell anybody who you're voting for. I don't care whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, or an Independent. I consider myself an independent, objective conservative. And I think I need to start that party. Somebody's probably going to steal that because there's a bunch of thieves out here. But it is for what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, you all have a great day.